Peace, welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the fifth Sunday of the ordinary time. Be the light of the world and salt of the earth. We have heard of this repeated over and over. And our Christian life is precisely about being light, like Christ. Being the salt of the earth, giving taste to life itself. Jesus Christ gave his life, body broken on the cross, blood poured, so that we have a meaningful and valuable existence. The light of the world, salt of the earth. This is our calling. This is our Christian life. The first reading tells us we have to do the works of mercy. We are familiar with the works of mercy. The feeding the hungry, giving water to the thirsty, clothing the naked, welcoming the stranger, visiting those who are sick, visiting those who are in the uh, or who are imprisoned, and then burying the dead, etc. All good things that we can do. Works of mercy, works of love. When we do the good and always promote what is good then we are becoming salt of the earth and light of the world. The second reading also tells us now the words of faith, the proclamation of the faith by words. Of course, words are needed, but more than words is the conduct. The, the behavior speaks louder than words, but indeed words are needed. And so what does it mean? We become salt of the earth and light of the world by using our words that encourage, not discourage. Words that heal, not hurt. Words that lift up, not pull down. Words that build up, not destroy. And so let us be what the word of God for us this Sunday is telling us. And so what is the challenge? Three things, challenges. First, we know that there is always sense of sacrifice that we have to do. When we have to do the good, works of love, and the words of faith, we have to make sacrifice. And to do the sacrifice many times uh, impedes us to do the good because we do not want to make sacrifices. This is the challenge. The second challenge to do, doing the, the good works and giving the good words, the sense of responsibility of continuity, the responsibility of continuity. We do the good, then we have to continually do it. For example, um, I would like, okay, I, I, I like singing. I love singing, so I would like to join the choir, but I have to join the practice. I have to sing the, with the choir and be able to be committed into the choir. And many times, although we know that to love singing is good, but many times because of the responsibility of continuity, we do not. And so many times people do not do the good even if they're capable because they do not want uh, to respond to the responsibility of continuity, the perseverance of doing it. And so um, we ask ourselves maybe this Sunday, are we afraid of the responsibility of continuity in relation to good actions, in relation to becoming light of the world and soul of the earth? The, the third challenge is the concern for the immediate reward. The concern for the immediate reward that when I do good, there must be something that comes to me. It is like I, I do this to you and then something right away comes back to me. But in the life of faith and in the life of following Jesus Christ, many, many times things that not ha does not happen that way because uh, many times the reward is not immediate. But how can therefore you and I fight these um, challenges? 
focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on Jesus Christ. The imitation of Jesus Christ. Himself the light of the world. Himself the salt of the earth who gave taste and meaning and value to our human existence. Because in Christ indeed, we will be able to know how to give ourselves just as Christ has given himself to us. Will that mean that there will be the sacrifice? Yes, of course. Just as Jesus did sacrifice, but the sacrifice will no longer be the issue and the focus. Rather, the consequence of the sacrifice. Like Jesus, when he gave his sacrifice, there was redemption, there was salvation. When we give our sacrifice, then it gives more meaning to our existence. It will it also entail uh, to responding uh, the responsibility of continuity. Yes, of course, a responsibility of continuity. We call it now Christian mission. We are always sent out in mission. And the mission is to bring the world to God and God to the world. And so it gives more meaning but to every action we do because we do what we do not because it is about me but it but because it is about Christ it is about God and therefore we persevere in doing what in doing the good what that we are doing because it becomes now our mission of life and so uh, will it be about immediate reward no not necessarily because in Christ now we may, we may have immediate rewards. Hmm? Yeah. But then the concern is not about the immediate reward. The concern is the eternal rewards. And so for this fifth Sunday of the ordinary time, let us build in ourselves yes. becoming light of the world, salt of the earth in imitation of Jesus Christ. Like all the saints, they imitated Christ. They focus on Christ. And their lives, not only that it changed their lives, but it also changed the lives around them. In Christ Jesus, therefore, we become light and salt of the earth. And the reward of it all is that the world is transformed by you and I becoming instruments of Jesus Christ himself, the light. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and please subscribe if you, if you have not done so. Give us a thumbs up and share this video to others.